Okay, welcome back to the channel. Now we're gonna be applying uh, Okay, welcome back to the channel. Now we're gonna be applying uh, Garrett's Garage Liquid Gloss Poly Wax. It's supposed to be a, a sealant. So we're gonna put it on here and let it sit 30 minutes and they're gonna wipe it off. I got some clouds above me. It clear up a little bit. It's getting kind of late, but I'll have enough time to put one coat of this. Let it sit overnight. The next day or during the week, I'll put a, the best of show wax on there to, uh, to extend the life of this and then apply it maybe once a month to extend the life of it. So I'm gonna get applying, we're gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna hear a bunch of kids playing across the street. So let's, um, let's apply it. Okay, we're gonna shake it up real good. We're gonna apply this. Now, granted, I'm just a hobbyist detailer. Don't do this for a living, I'm not a professional. So keep that in mind. Just like to do it ourselves and keep our vehicles clean. Might add a little bit of more. Just a uh, pad. Let me put this over here. You don't need to keep putting the cap on. Wait a minute. Man, I, got, I feel dumb. That's right, the cap. Should be open, open it up, I believe. Yeah, open, pull the open and close. Here I got that. See, now I feel. Yeah, okay. There you go. Oh well, we all make mistakes. Not perfect. You found out. First time using this gear garage. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know it's dark. Sorry about that. That's a good shade right going on right now. But, uh, as of now, man, it spreads out nice. I like it. Don't really have smell to it. Keep it here. One thing about the Jeep, it has a lot of areas to try to get into. I know I should take off the black, but I'm going to be trying to be careful as much as I can. Just, just don't have that time now. Try to block that off. Just try to get in there as much as I can. It's nice to this fun, see how it's hard to get in there. You can kind of fold it up and get in there real good. Just like that. Or if you can use this stuff on windows. I like that. I have a automobile detail. Let's see what he says. Oh, it's tough to get short. There. Continue to go, you guys watch. too much. I'm trying to stay away the best I can. That looks like I'm getting good coverage. Yeah, this has a lot of black trim and I use all kinds of painters tape, blue tape, tape with this thing. This has a lot of black trim, man. I use all kinds of 
painter's tape, blue tape. I think with this thing. I'll continue to go. I'll be back. Look at that shine. Uh, what other uh, product we'll use on the different vehicles or whatnot. We'll continue to go. Who knows? So I'm going to wipe this off with a clean cloth. The whole vehicle. Actually, it took me like 20 minutes to do the whole vehicle. You don't have to worry about the roof. I mean, it's a Jeep. It's got a lot of the blast, black plastic. Like I said, I'm going to have another video coming up with the Come Guys uh, stuff on it for the black. The VR. No, it's not VRT. It's VR something. So we applied the Garrett's Garage Liquid Gloss Poly Wax. Synthetic Wax. Should be, you know, like a sealant. And then it went out really nice. I have to admit, and I really do like the bottle. I like the cap. Easy to pour. That's that's nice. You pop up and down. You pull it up and then down to get it out. Of course, shake well. And it says allow to cure for 10 to 30 minutes, depending on the temperature. Today, a little bit longer. We're in the clouds. It's not that warm out today. We finally got some cool weather. And then wipe off residue with clean Microsoft fiber towel, which we are. And then... Um, if you use a machine, you can, um, you're can. you going to want to go on a slow speed. I did it on hand. We clay blo uh, blocked it. Another thing, too, on the clay block and or, or the clay bar. Uh, my opinion, I think do the uh, clay bar works better. Uh, you're able to get it. The clay block is really good if it's not that much contaminants. And you just got to go over a few spots. That works great. The clay bar, in my opinion, is the best way to go. So hopefully that helps. Like I said, I'm, we're just a hobbyist uh, detailers. We do this, try to take care of our own vehicles. But uh, yeah, we're gonna put this on here. We're gonna let it sit. And this week we're gonna put the best show wax on there. Uh, let the sealant cure overnight or a couple days. Rewash it, and then we'll apply the wax. And then, and then what I might do is, um, if everything goes well before winter. The paint's still clean. We'll do the bag test, and I won't have to clay block it again. I'll just continue to use the wax on it, and then we'll try out that spray wax. Then we'll, we'll, we'll try out the Chemical Guys VRP on the Jeep. I had it on a Silverado, but like I said, uh, can't do that test no more. Uh, it's gone, but uh, we do have the videos out on that, so we'll apply this stuff on the, all the black trim, which is a lot. You might need a gallon of this stuff for this Jeep, which is cool. It works pretty good, and we'll see how long it lasts on this. And then, of course, it depends on the weather. It might not rain for two weeks. It might rain every day. Who knows? But, um, yeah, we're going to apply this. Most likely not today in this video. And I'll probably apply this with the video with the uh, Best of Show wax. Because uh, you can pretty much apply this before you put the wax on there. And you don't have to worry about getting anything on there. So let's take this off. Let's take off the poly wax. I got a little bit on the black. You can see. But with my finger to come off. It's not too bad. Yeah, it looks like it come right off. Yep. Yeah, it does have a lot of black. I wonder if we could put some spray on there. Take that off or whatever. I don't know. We'll get it. Of course, the Jeep's looking good. Look at that. So, uh, you guys watch me take this off. Watch me take it off. I need to get a tripod. I need to invest in some more cameras, though. One day. We'll quit buying cars. Alright, let's take it off. We'll make sure it's hazed up. Let's see it. Oh yeah, let's get Sure, the atoms that wax, that buttery wax, 
don't want that getting on the black trim. You will take it. You're going to have to take it up and use that wax, or don't get it on the black trim. Cause that stuff will not come off. It leaves a white residue on the black trim. So if you guys ever do use that wax, make sure you tape it off. Or be very careful getting it on. Because it will stain it. I hope the video helps. Like I said, I'm not an expert at it. Just do it as a hobby. Regular car guy trying to keep his stuff clean. So uh, everyone else can do the same at home. on the windows, figure why not? Let's try it out. The other scene is great on the windows. Why not? We like to sit up there on the window a little bit, do the rest of the Jeep. I'll do the front last because I actually applied the, the poly wax last on the front. Good. It doesn't leave with any residue in the cracks. Alright, I'll continue. Let's take this out. The hood. You can get a nice gloss shine from the clouds. The sun peeking through that. When it's cloudy like this, you can really see the shine in your vehicle that's an imperfection in the paint but look at that you can really see it see what I mean by the when it's cloudy out and you got that right see how the plum crazy looks look at that I mean that is just look at that I mean it's perfect you don't see that when you got the full sun blasting down on it on your paint Granted, it's going to look shiny, but this just brings it out. The way the weather is right now in the sky, and the way the, you have your light, the way it's popping through the clouds, it just, look at that. It's just beautiful. It just makes it look beautiful. It brings out that color. Any color. That's what I think. You guys are like, man, he's crazy. comes off pretty good I got good cloud coverage I have to go over it a couple times make sure I got all, the, all of it off sometimes you always miss a couple spots and the next day you look and you're like man how did I miss that it always happens but I like it no residue inside here on the black that's nice all right I'll continue and then we'll come back and we'll show you results okay, we're all done taking off the Garrett's Garage Polywax. Here we go. So that's all done. Do a little walk around. Lost, my, losing my light now. So got done this just in time. And I did put it on the windows. Went on there nice. Look how shiny the windows are. Why not? Look at that. Let it uh, probably help keep the water from sheeting and beating. Come off. So don't forget to a little tip. Get inside your uh, inside your door jams clean them up got it nice and clean got the windows done in the back nice and shiny the spot and then you can go over and just look and see if you can miss anything this was a pain right here getting all in here you know do the best you can to get in there maybe get something like a little foam thing in and get in there really good but I got it pretty good for now so that's what it looks like it shines pretty good There we go. So yeah, check out the hood. Got the little bit of light from the porch. Porch light. But yeah, it looks pretty good. So anybody wants to try this stuff out, works great. Garrett's Garage. So next video will be on uh, on the Jeep. We'll be applying uh, um, Best of Show Wax from Garrett's Garage. And that'd be about it. And then I want to do a video on the clean interior on the Jeep. 
because it's filthy. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys like it. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Appreciate it for watching all our videos. It means a lot. Thanks. You guys have a good one. Later.